G.I. Joe Renegades is honestly one of the most interesting concepts to ever emerge from the entire G.I. Joe franchise. Like, I'm pretty well aware that most of the G.I. Joe stories revolve around a branch of the United States military fighting an evil terrorist organization across the globe, but unlike its predecessors, G.I. Joe Renegades is about a small group of American military officers fighting against a giant business corporation and becoming national fugitives in the process. Obviously, there are more than a few comparisons to be made to the A-Team, and as with all G.I. Joe properties, Renegades still kind of feels like American military propaganda, but what I appreciate about this cartoon is how it reinterprets the classic G.I. Joe enemy Cobra in the context of a corporate entity, because it actually makes a lot of sense. In the real world, corporations actively strive to expand their businesses towards every corner of the planet, to project the best possible appearance upon the eyes of the public, and to protect their assets. So for Cobra Industries, world domination isn't some maniacal pipe dream, it's a real attainable goal that is motivated by the urge to achieve as much success as possible and practically synonymous with the successful growth and expansion of their brand enterprise. They use benevolent advertising to create a safe and friendly public image, but when the show's protagonists discover their true intentions, Cobra does everything in its power to discredit them and frame them as terrorists, all for the sake of protecting the company. By turning Cobra into a business organization and continuing to position them as the villains, G.I. Joe Renegades is criticizing the mentality behind American corporations, as well as late-stage capitalism in the United States. There may not be a lot of discussion on the economic aspects of their business practices, but that's irrelevant compared to the major lack of ethics within those same practices. Of course, Cobra's villainy is much more cartoonish because it takes place within a cartoon, but it still parallels the actions of real-world corporations on a fundamental level, specifically in their disregard for human life, the neglect of regulations, and the exploitation of labor. There's even an entire episode where Mars Industries uses kidnapped military veterans as test subjects for the production of Cobra weapons, along with another episode where a corrupt prison system forces its inmates to fight each other for entertainment. If anything, the message of G.I. Joe Renegades is that the biggest threat to the United States is not some foreign power from Mexico, Africa, or the Middle East. Rather, its biggest problem is late-stage capitalism from within the country. Because if we're not holding our businesses and corporations accountable for their actions, then nothing is going to stop them from taking advantage of everyone. The show isn't saying that the entire nation needs to switch to a completely different economic system, it's saying that corporations need to be put in check by ordinary Joes. Given the thematic messages of G.I. Joe Renegades, as well as the live-action G.I. Joe Retaliation film to an extent, the G.I. Joe franchise has proven itself to be capable of criticizing American politics, while adding new and interesting ideas to the universe. But even with all that critical discussion, it still feels like the franchise spends too much of its time glorifying the US military, when it definitely has the potential to be criticizing them instead. While I know that the G.I. Joe protagonists will always be members of the armed forces, however, I would consider that an opportunity to criticize the US from that perspective, to see what it's like to be put on a pedestal, to be told that you're protecting your country, and then find out that you've been lied to the entire time. Like, imagine a G.I. Joe story that took inspiration from narratives like Metal Gear Solid, Stanley Kubrick's Doctor Strangelove, or Captain America the Winter Soldier. 
Of course, if I ever want to see those stories again, I can always re-experience them, but I still think that it would be really significant if there was a G.I. Joe cartoon that actually criticized the US military for once, instead of licking its boots all the time. Maybe I'm dreaming too much, but watching G.I. Joe Renegades has left me with much higher expectations for the G.I. Joe franchise, and it makes me wonder if any future entries in the series will continue its anti-capitalist messages or maybe explore some new subjects for critical discussion. If you want to experience Renegades for yourself, just know that the animation doesn't start off on the best quality and it can be kind of annoying to the point where I don't feel like recommending it to everyone, but I will say this. There has never been a G.I. Joe series more critical of the American industrial complex until there was G.I. Joe Renegades.